Forgot to hit record. Everybody say hi, YouTube. Definitely forgot to hit record. Thank you. Albert Albatross with a five gifted. Albatross, that's your first lawsuit, Cat Jim. Cat hi. Jim. My name is what? My name is who? My name is Chica Chica Reese, the editor. <laughs> Albatross, thank you. These are your first five gifted subs to the channel, dude. That's so awesome. Five people's days made. Getting their Thursday off to a good start, you know. Ivan, he said, oh, he hates big matches. Ref, 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 boo. Ref. Mom, I'm on YouTube. <gasps> well, I actually get that match review in. The world may never know. Ah, uh, Ivan Nielsen, we don't need you because we're going up, baby. That's, I'm just saying, we don't need you because we're going up. It's almost 9 a.m. where Zealand is. Almost. It's not actually 9 a.m. Can you look up Francisco Mancedo? Oh, we have like a player redemption. Speaking of which, we have an actual player redemption for Matthew Hoppy. Who, uh, at the beginning of this football manager cycle was not very good. He never broke in at Schalke and is currently a free agent. We must show him the love. Parfait, we must show him the love. Uh, oh my god. Wow. Here, get me out of the way. They just boosted, like, our entire staff across the board. Two new scouts, new recruitment analyst. New performance analyst, new physio, four new coaching staff openings. Not producing any results. Well, you, it should be, Eric. You've been working on ball control. It's the one thing you're not good at, right? Eric, 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 Eric. You always be waking up this early? During the school week, yeah. I do actually get up pretty early. My mom's making a banana chalky cake. I'm jealous. By Jizz Horncamp. No, I've, I've heard of this guy. It's hard not to have heard of Mr. Horncamp. There's a lot of horny people out there. They're horny for Horncamp. The real question is, he's Dutch, right? I know this percentage is very high, but I want to get the exact percentage. Percentage of Dutch people who speak English, which is like basically everybody in the Netherlands. 93%. That's honestly lower than I thought, which means 93 out like the, the it is very likely that Jizz Horncamp's parents spoke English or speak English. How do you let that happen? New to stream Twitch. What's up, guys? What's up, Wei? How you doing? Thank you guys for the hype train. Big Daddy Moses, thank you for the 500 bits. Greater fluency than some U.S. states. I mean, if you've ever been to West Virginia, absolutely. 93% English fluency is definitely higher than... Yeah, I, I didn't think about it that way. It definitely is higher than some U.S. states. See, Matthew Hoppy didn't get a great rating in FM21 because at the beginning of the game cycle, at least the most recent database, he was not a very good player. I had no idea who he was. <gasps> My God. Pondella just brought the... Just, just rolled Hill Vicente rolled them why can't i do that to hill vicente why is hill vicente the team that i can't beat but tundela who i beat both times just walks them so weird how that happens sometimes so tundela secures a playoff spot they show us has secured a playoff spot all they're waiting on now is the life of the party Which, last time I checked, I think is actually Britney Spears. Awake for a Zealand stream. Let's go! What's up, LPS? How you doing? Announce Hoppy. Announce Hoppy. I wish. Like, I wish I would. I just don't know if he's going to be good. Is it snowing up there right now? Snow check! 
What's the vibe of this save? We're trying to win the Champions League. We just got promoted last stream. We just guaranteed a league championship last stream. We got the last match. And then uh, Lee Chow wants to stay. No, no, he doesn't. No, how does he? What? No. No. Lusitana Larusa might go. Oh, wow. That's close. That's close to nerve wracking. <gasps> we had Albatross drop those five gifted to get into the ranks of the gifted subs. And now we've got an all time hammers legend, Nick the Bull, coming back with five gifted subs. Weedy axed accidental hero Dramingo and Histon FM. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon emotes and being part of an elite online gaming community. Dude, these guys. What do you mean you don't want to leave? I don't understand what that means. Not even for a top flight Portuguese team? You don't even want to leave for a top flight Portuguese team? Right, I should film. We should fill these staff rolls right away, right? We should fill these staff rolls right away. It would be dumb of us to not fill these staff rolls right away. It would be dumb of us. This dude still doesn't have a cap for the Chinese national team. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. What would it take? We're going to set our staff in a second. What would it take? After 50 league appearances, obviously 1.5 million, right? And after qualifying for the UEFA Europa League, 2 million. They're going to be like, dude, this is the worst offer I've ever seen. Actually, it, they didn't. They didn't say they didn't say that. They said, dude, kind of love you, man. You're going to have to do a little better than that. And I was like, OK. I was like, all right, Champions League. What about you qualifying for the Champions League? Qualifying for Champions League 3.8. As long as he wants to sign the contract, we're going to be able to sign him. How long does it take to get to 20 international appearances? He's going to get to that. I... <sighs> this is such an important player to what we're trying to do. Proud to be a hammer. Weedy, you're looking good. Hi, Zealand. So what do you think about Porto Juve last night? Juve continues to look like just a not very good team. You keep waiting for, like, you got a little bit of it from Dortmund where it's like, you know, they're talented, but they're having a bad season. So they kind of take it out on the Champions League. I didn't see that from Juventus. I saw that from Dortmund where they were just like, you know, like this, man. Here we, ugh, we're going to run these guys over. Like, that's what they did. Juventus didn't do that. What's up, Looney? And Isaac, how you guys doing? If I become a, your backroom staff, can I use a custom picture or just a name? I mean, as long as the custom picture is nothing obscene, I think. I don't know if I know how to put it into the game. Let's go, boys. Offers in. 18-year-old Chinese Messi. The Chessie. Offers in. Offers in on the Chessie. Ah, he better, ex he better, he better, he better, he better. I cannot believe it was that cheap. He better accept. There is no way he's ever going to be this cheap again. He better accept. He, he better be open to a freaking contract now. Is what I'm. I'm going to inquire about the 18-year-old Chinese goalkeeper Shui Shunshun. And we will do a national team check. 
the reason the U23 is just like always exclusively Chinese based players. Dong Dehei is my player. We've loaned out. So that's fun. Then we obviously have a couple other guys. Yay. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. I hate it. But every time I look at that guy, I go, why was I, I was too slow. Blue lay. That's all we got. That's all that's out there for us right now. That's all that exists in the world is potential signings to appease our sign Chinese players initiative. Yeah, go us, right? It's going to be easy, chat. Wow, people. Does Zealand all all the time about his pronunciation? But this is about what are you about to say? Especially these Chinese ones sound great. Thanks, man. Totally didn't expect it to go that direction. Snowzer. Love your content from Australia. Well, I love Australia and New Zealand. Obviously, a little bit more than Australia just because like names and stuff. But hey, if you're Madrid, would you rather have Holland, Sancho or just Mbappe? Holland and Sancho or just Mbappe? Holland and Sancho just for Holland. Where's Zhao Felix, Bob? I love that. Yeah, I like Aussie rules, Corny. Aussie rules is awesome. That's what you're talking about. Saw Dying to Hay play live for Notts County before Wolves bought him. He's wasted at the U23's level. He's actually good. That's welcome to hear because he's not great right now. Uh, Julian's not getting worse. Shut up. Dio's recent form hasn't been good enough. Yeah, okay. Okay, Pumpkin. How many contracts are about to expire? Good number, uh, actually. Wang Hong and Xu Zhong. Obviously, Xu Zhong is somebody that we're making a move for. Wang Hong is somebody that we're not. Uh, he's not fast enough to overcome the fact that he's not good. Uh, Matt House, Zhao Manuel. <sighs> if you want no money, Zhao Manuel, I will bring you... No, I can't. Can I justify this? Our goalkeeper from the beginning? Can I justify that? How much money do you want? I can't. I can't. I want to, but I can't. Zerbriggan's like retiring and leaving, which is nice. Opens up a good amount of wage because we had to spend a lot of money to get Zerbriggan in. Uh, Felix Madhouse, fringe player. The fringe player we trust. Wow. Okay. Cool. Really did not want to raise his wage, as you can tell. Yeah, well, look at that youth intake, baby. Those boys are something special. Salary cap stuff is awful. Oh, yeah, the rules for the Australian the, the league. Oh, pfft. well, the MLS has the same stuff. I mean, that's why I don't do a lot. I've never done a save in the MLS either. I'll, I like watching it. I like watching the MLS. We have no transfer budget. We have like a little less. We have like. We've moved some around. We had like four and a half million a year in the payroll. We've put some in the transfer budget so that we could try and sign our boy. But right now we have a very important job. Very important job. Oh, my contract has not been extended. Really? Really? Hold up. Excuse me, sir. Personal. New contract. That would be nice. You know, with the, with the A+, plus, I'd be down. I would be down for a new contract. Do I think I've earned it? I don't know. Have I earned it? I... <laughs> I'm looking at the staff. I'm like, oh, whose contract's about to expire? Well, f mine. Mine, my contract's about to expire. I'm the one at the top of the list. Oh. All right. 
anyways assuming that's going to be okay what are our coaches good at so i have nine coaching spots I mean i'm able to add four coaches which means we are going to be able to cover one two three four five six yeah we've got we're able to have one coach for every section with me and the assistant coach kind of spelling people so like you go up to here and i go there cool so tom leg what is your best you are a defending tactical coach got it Mr. Leonardo Aguilar, you are... I'm going attacking technical. Yeah. An attacking technical coach. Got it. So defending tactical, attacking technical, everything else we still need. Staff search! Search! see determination motivating discipline say probably 12 and then attacking tactical oh nice nice oh <gasps> there's a guy carlos corberon and we can afford him what a time to be alive, chat. Yes! Sorry, is this huge? Who won League and Us last year in the save? I honestly don't know the answer to that question. I should. You know, considering we're now dusting it up with the big boys. Usually, poor. Are you really going to take this? Yeah, you are. Cool. Welcome to the team, Carlos. Welcome to the team. All right, so attacking is done. Uh, let's try defending. Dude. I never go the long way. There we go. Found it. Roscoe with the gifted sub to Captain Vive. You're in the hammers. Wow. Well, those are stats. <laughs> Insane. Why is this so hard to find? Why do I have to go here and switch it? I'm... Oh, my God. There's one guy. There we go. Christoph Desi. Wait, hold on. We we have defending technical. We need defending technical, which, of course, we go back. Isle's going to be like, it's right here, you idiot. Yeah, I know click pick, but, like, I... I Dude, you should be able to find it from this drop-down. Like, I'm not losing my mind. You used to be able to find it from that drop-down thing. That's why I'm hallucinating. Like, coaching attributes, you know? Christoph Desi. Still the best, apparently. Definitely the best. Christoph Desi. Welcome to the t Okay. Oh ha hoo ha he ha 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 Never mind. You're not welcome to the team. He only wants four hundred forty thousand a year. I don't see the problem. 
Augusto Campo. All right, that takes care of our defensive coaching. So now we need this. Jorge Cuto. Hey, he does the job. He's got those caps. Oh my god, I can pay so much now. Wait, I could, I could like actually afford this guy. I can pay so much money. My contract will get renewed. I have A+. Plus. If it doesn't, the game's broken. Did you shave for school or for the stream? I didn't even shave today. I shaved yesterday, dude. I already asked for a new contract. I did. Melvum! Oh, shoot, dude! <laughs> Roscoe and Melvum with the gifted subs! Welcome to the Hammers, guys. Uh, get Greggy Lad in there as coach, Mr. Z. Definitely not been saving this for you to get the league in Oz. So that's a smart way to do it, Greggy. And I want you to know I saw you. You're, once we sign these coaches, you're going to be able to pick who it is. Or a kudo. It's a great technical coach. I. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. He's a model citizen. It's worth it. Some would say it's worth it. Am I one of those people? I don't know. Am I that easily bought, right? By saying, oh, he's a model citizen. Like, boom, automatically you got to pay him $200,000, right? Is that is that who I am? I didn't think so. Apparently it is. Apparently that is exactly who I am. Apparently that's exactly who I am. He's a model citizen? Sign me up, coach. I just accidentally click clear. Please, God, stop it. Please. God, please. Homie. Please. The man's trying to keep me down. Mental tactical. Okay. Let's go to 12. I just feel like that's the level that we're at. It's like 12. And our tactical coach, nobody. This is the first time we haven't hit somebody at 15. That means he's both these guys are at 14 on the tactics. It's got good working with youngsters, adaptability, motivating, right? Lewis Spencer, a little worse, right? A little more balanced, but he's also already on a team. Let's see if Trufani doesn't want a ton of money either, so relatively ton of money. I mean, it is a lot of money for piddly old Oriental Dragon to bring him in. But that is that, staff-wise. Performance analyst, got it. 10 coaching team, Zealand. Anybody? Probably not. Definitely not. Cool. Anybody? Ooh, two. Let's take the English guy. It's a lot of money, Ben. It's a lot of money. What about you? The French guy also wants a lot of money. Why? Why do you want a lot of money? Hey, right, what are you doing? It's a service to society. What are you doing? What about you? Random dude. How much money do you want? Less? Cool. Not a ton less. Rees Barclay, what do you want? Is this a tiered system? Is that just the way they've set it up in the game? Like, at a certain level of ability? No, because you suck. At a certain level of ability, you are... to be paid this much money. Okay, fine. I'm not happy about it. I'll do it. Oh my god, negotiation. Oh my god, negotiate. That's how much I can pay you. Okay, cool. And you shouldn't have not applied for the job, okay? Because from where I'm sitting, it looks like you applied for the job. By showing up on my staff search, okay? You, you clearly wanted it. You applied, right? He showed up on my staff search. What does he want me to do? Can't see the name of the player. Valid. 
Uh, this is, this corner is probably the best for for staff work. Probably. Well, it's it's a performance analyst. Can't see the name of the player. Well, eh. Uh, two scouts, a technical director, which we will not be signing, a recruitment analyst, which we will be signing. So while we're on it, let's just go ahead and go to recruitment analyst. Which I believe is judging player ability. I'm not 100% confident yet. Yeah, I should have been. Why would I not be 100% confident? I mean, look at me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Bueller. Whoa. Wow, Kevin Druitt is uh, on this list. Mike Ring. At 15 judging player ability. Cool. Let's try Edgar Rodas. Dude's from Colombia. I feel like that. Okay. How about anybody we can sign? Anybody at all we can sign. Hey, this guy fits the parameters. Jacob Dalton. English extraordinaire. Where are we? Okay. Two scouts. Nothing like getting your entire team jacked up. 15s? Bro. Are the analysts really worth signing? Yeah. They, you don't really feel what they do in a day-to-day -day sense, but yes, they're worth signing. Providing better and better and more accurate information. The recruitment analysts are more worth signing than the performance analysts because the recruitment analysts, actually, they bring players through. You know, he's got the fifth best shots in the Brazilian second division, and they come in through your scouting center, and that's like, you know, that's what they have. It's great. Do you look for determination in scouts? Yes. Determination, motivation, or like determination, motivating, discipline. Always the holy trinity. The higher those are, the better the person is 100% of the time. For scouts, adaptability also matters. What's performance analysts do? Uh, break down your players, break down the opposition, provide you with analysis reports. The better they are, the better the analysis report is. Well, like what teams are good at, like the more useful information you get. No, our assistant manager is actually pretty good. I don't think we'll need to get a new one. Flavio, hey, babe. Damn it, Flavio. All right. Not medical, mental. Diego Klimovic. Okay. You look great, man. Diego Huerta. Actually, like, that's not a lot of money. If you just want to be a scout, please. Please. Por, por favor. Thank you. Okay, we need we need another one, though. That That's the thing. Uh, shoot. Richard Meany, Frank Ferrad, Claudio Viscovic, Pierre Vantiez. No way. Dude's a... Th what? This guy want no retirement money? He's an old French dude. How is he taking 36000 a year? I'll take that. I'm... I... <laughs> In my place to argue with you. I'm just saying. Little weird, man. I feel like you need more than that. I'm just saying top division, you could perhaps find someone better. Bone Sorter is like, don't do that. Not worth the money that we don't have. Don't you look at nation, national knowledge while looking for scouts? I don't. That's why I signed the French guy was for West Africa, but like. Not entirely. 
Because if I have access to all the best scouts in the world, like I'm one of the biggest clubs in the world, then that's almost going to matter more because no matter who you sign is going to be a great scout. Right now, there's a pretty quick drop. And we don't have a lot of great scouts and we don't have a lot of variability in terms of the scouts that we should sign. Like it was French, English, or Argentinian. We got an Argentinian and an Englishman, so we speak Spanish, right? So easy to adapt into those countries. French, easy to adapt into West Africa. Uh, the knowledge is not going to be like outstanding. Are you selling the Chessy? No, dude, we're trying to sign him. Chill. What are your thoughts on Daryl DK at Barnsley? I hope he gets some good playing time. Harry Young with the... That's how I get out of bed every morning. I look like that emoji for like... That emote for like... <laughs> emoji. That emoji, said the grandparent. Cool, we got three. Oh, you want to be the head physio? Ecuadorian, you say? And we land our second physio. Okay, I think, guys, we might actually hire a coaching team for our youth team this year. We'll leave, you know, we'll make that decision later. We've got nobody in the youth team right now, so it doesn't matter. Matty Blue Eyes, thank you for your service to this great cause. Thank you for the five gifteds. Clay Dog, Rodrino, Ben, RD, and RPG Spaz. Welcome to the Hammers. Matty Blue Eyes, thank you for the five gifted subs. Wow. That sucks, dude. When can we find out any information on this takeover? we find out any information at all on this thing dude i thought they were paying me fourteen thousand a year i was like Pfft. i will take less money for more for for a longer contract okay wasn't it like 266 Happy to agree to your terms. Cool. Got it. You guys were worried about me cinching up a new contract. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Two years at the helm. What's up? How you doing? Please do me get an opportunity to continue what we started here. We built something very impressive. You know, league champions back to back years. We're feeling good. We're doing our thing. Subscribe to Lanz in your... That is insane. That is so unfortunate. Look at the time, dude. Look at the time. Look when it started. Look when it happened. I know most of you can't read it, so let me read what you, let me read to you what it says right here. It started seven hours and fifteen minutes ago. The deal started seven hours and fifteen minutes ago, hours before I was gonna lock the deal in. Not days, not months, hours. 
seven hours and 15 minutes ago. Seven hours ago, the news article came across the desk. Seven hours. That's so funny. That's outrageous. What's up, Brian? We're in Liga Nos. We just got promoted to the top league in Portugal. Yeah, you can buy him once the embargo is gone, but sometimes it takes a very long time. Just curious, like what did you what would you want? Cool! 25 and a half million. Love it. No one quite have that money. Uh, funny, funny story. We don't have that money. You signed some loans? We actually, we have this last match of the second league season where we're going to, uh, we're going to look to stop Mafra with Wabam Wobilie on the field. <sighs> Hello, what's up, Pan and Coke and Huizges? I think I was close to that. Do you plan to do a streamer showdown draft practice stream? Wouldn't be a bad idea. Can I keep him? Uh, yeah, I well, here's the thing. We would love to do a deal for a transfer. Does the embargo keep you from having him loaned out to me? Because I kind of want him loaned out to me. Greggy, you said you wanted to be a coach, so I'm only going to ask you when the coaches come in who you who you want to uh, who you want to take control of. Our scouts and our uh, and one of our analysts, our performance analysts, is in. So we just landed our other two scouts. Let's get those boys set up. How you guys doing? Welcome, 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 welcome. Grab your free bag on the way in. You know. Pults, we are going to be switching your scouting assignment, Pults. We're going to be creating you a new one. We are going to go to Liechtenstein, uh, where all of the most skilled players are. We're going to go to Spain. Look for end of contract deals at a first team level. Sound good, man? Done. Because we now have somebody that can go to Argentina and actually get us like a very quick, very accurate report on a player with scout of potential ability that is uh, superb. So go do that, Diego. And then Frank Vallad. Scouting assignment. Region. I can't scout West Africa. Excuse me, board, board, <whistles> board. Hey, hey, guys. Uh, oops, not what I meant to ask about. You're going to reject that. Uh, I meant to ask about scouting range, though. I uh, hope you guys are super down for this. A little bit of this, just, ju just, yeah, I know you were going to reject that. Didn't know you were going to reject that. Big enough to succeed. We are in a top seven league in Europe for sure. Probably top six league in Europe especially considering the result that we just had yesterday, like, you know, in the Champions League. But that's okay. Whatever. We don't need to be able to scout, like, I don't know, the entirety of Europe. That wouldn't make any sense at all. Not not to me. To you? Would it make... No, it wouldn't make sense to you either. So, yeah, I, I don't understand why you're so... Uh, why you're so bent out of shape about this. It's pretty straightforward, guys. All we have to do is be able to compete in the top league in Portugal without... Um, you know, any ability to do anything. Hapoel, had, no, this dude's rocking it out. But she getting paid a lot. She's getting paid a lot. But you're also good. So, kind of makes sense. Ah, Claudio Tavares. No. You were already on my team. Why would I be interested in you now if you were already on my team? You can't riddle me that. Riddle me that.
Not interested. Now, trials. Trials. We've built this nation on trials. How is that dude, like, that good with what I just saw? I have no idea. Yeah, sorry, man. Now that we're in the top league, I can't see a world in which we sign you. Not even a small world. Gotta put in a shift on the scouting trail. Hopefully one of these guys is just sick. The trialists that we should get now that we're in the top, we're going into Liga Nas. Like, we should get the good trialists. You know. I don't want no bad trial. Okay. It didn't work as well as I hoped. Honestly, if you have no Paraguayan caps, are you going to be good enough to play for me? Inverted wingback, you say. Good passer. I'm interested. Literally signed Phil Bardsley, retired a week later. A signing bonus. Took it right to Bermuda. What is your best tip for making the step from a good team to a Champions League winner? Once you're a good team, and I say this over and over again, I'll say, so, like, this is the job. Why are the world? Hey, Greg! Greg, it's time. Hey, Zealand, have you ever been so far as to even pretend to even want to go do more like I... I don't know if there's an actual question in there. Is Jacques Guillerme the striker good enough for Liga Nas? No. Unfortunately not. The coaches are in. The coaches are in. Which coach, Greggy, do you want? Wiring the world is all about Greggy is here. Greggy. I just signed you. You just walked into my office. You're either Carlos Corboron, Alejandro Triafini, Agosto Ocampo, or Jorge Cuto. Had Zahn Kolmanich in last year in FM20 Sheffield and get relegated that season. Say no more, fam. I got you, logical. I'll be Ocampo. Defending coach Augusto Ocampo is now Greggy Lad. Welcome to the welcome to the staff. We're we're super happy to have you as our technical defensive coach. Your adaptability is something that we value tremendously as part of this staff, Greggy. Welcome to the team. What jersey is that? This is a fourth tier Thai jersey that somebody sent me. Look at hey, Greggy lads in the staff. You check that out. Yo, Shaw Pinto's gonna miss the last match. He had his most stable season ever in the team, and he's gonna miss the last match of the season. Sucks! Hey, just I'm just curious. I'm just I'm just checking. Like, I'm just checking. They haven't even responded to the loan offer. What? Problem is, I need to sign Zhou Zhang now. Once he plays the Chinese national team, it's over. He's going to cost $39 billion. I have to sign him now. My God, they accepted it. I just threw that out there to start the negotiation. They're like in the embargo. They just accepted it. They better finish it in this window. Like by August 31st, this whole embargo better be done because I am by I like 
I, I don't care if I have to steal him. I'll f steal him, man. I will steal him. That's huge, though. Like, that's... <laughs> Gary, your thoughts. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, Gary. Fair enough. I will steal him. I'll take Kudo if possible. Yo, Jerk sees is in. I spelled it wrong. Definitely spelled it wrong. It's okay. Oh, we were we were both spelling it wrong. Jerk sees is like, yo, I need to get in on this two hundred thousand a year. Welcome to the staff, Jerksies. Your six appearances for the Portuguese national team were uh, the other key. That's the experience that we want on our coaching staff. Are you winning, son? We have filled our senior staff. We feel very good about it. Oh, damn. I, I didn't even get the scouting range. That's ridiculous. I want to send him to Africa. Let me send these guys to Africa. I want... <sighs> Whatever. I want to send them to Africa. It doesn't mean I can. But look, you just have the African knowledge. I'm a genius. All right. So his language is going to help him in Belgium. It can help him in Belgium. Uh, we'll be looking for end of contract players of first team quality in Belgium. Go, Frank. Go. Munir Bukata can't send you anywhere else so we will send you to the netherlands nederlander looking for end of contract first team players let's go building a team chat one free agent at a time can you negotiate it always does wonders for me true but straight up rejections really bothered me oh wait i have an a plus i can wait 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 stop it stop i have the leverage to get whatever i want now that i have a new contract stop thoughts on sebastian soto he's got a chance to be the starting center forward for the u.s national team at a world cup uh, those are my thoughts on sebastian soto Peoria is progressing well. Hey, it looks like he's attempting to make a team in Liga Nos, doesn't he? Which, of course, I can't negotiate now because I've already gone past the, uh, the day. Yeah, I can decrease scouting range. Uh, that sounds like a really smart way to go about things. Let's improve our youth recruitment. Our, our youth intakes are garbage. We basically just need to get the best Chinese youth players in the world. That's what we need. We'll get to a point where we are getting that. Nope. Nope. We need to invest in youth recruitment. We operate in a busy region. It's important to stay competitive. Uh, can't stress how important I believe this to be, Shen. Dude, how do you have so much backbone? I'm a god. I have an A+. Plus. How can you turn me down? I'm not used to this rejection. All right, with all the uh, trials. Well, we get rid of the unavailables. It's really not that long of a list, so... Right, we don't have our winger. It's officially time to make the change to the synth wave stuff. I think I have one other. There we go. See, not available or failed his fitness test. Nice.
It's actually the, it's the first time all season I've made a decision based off of the registration rules. Michelle, Kioza, Butcher, Cicino, Gioria, Caro, Madrid, and Tosh. Cool, let's do this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't play Will Peely, I can I? Because he's not registered. I can't play him, chat. I just thought of him. And I can't play him. He's not registered. Boo! Boo! Did someone say he's conspiracy? Yo, Foitsy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to an elite online gaming community. Enjoy the bacon next to your name in the chat, the emotes, and access to the subscriber section of the, disc the, the Discord. Shameful. Shameful. Robable Pelia is too good for this league. He's simply too good, chap. The league will never understand. The league will never understand. We're not editing him in. We don't just edit the database willy-nilly, chat. We don't. Zealand, in four years, I have loaned Liam DeLapp each year who's carried me from Dusseldorf and Bundesliga 2 to the top of the Bundesliga is Christmas. Liam! I'm sorry, Harry. I am. I'm not perfect. I've just got to work it. Go out there and give him a performance to cheer for. Let's win the league in style, boys. We're going to raise the trophy today. I hope if Eric Mendez scores uh, a hat trick, I think he ends up with 30 goals for the season on the last day. That's why they didn't offer you the contract extension because you didn't register Robin Wapelier. Like, honestly, I can't blame them. I can't. Eager raise like we've all been there. Ega, I'm sorry. When did I do that to you? I need new eyes, chat. Okay. Works for me, dog. Let's go. Michelle Lima, anybody? A little spicy Michelle Lima action. Yeah, well, look, that's mostly on the keeper, but Michelle Lima hit the target. He felt good about it, you know? You know Michelle, you know Michelle Lima hit him with one of those too. The next time we take the field will be in Liga Nas. What a feeling. What an infectious feeling. I like how the other dude who was offside somehow does it like that dude affected the play so much more than so many people they call offside. Essentially screen the keeper. Antosh did really a penalty. I was joking. I was joking. I was literally joking. I screamed. I yelled that as a joke. Okay. That was a joke. I said that is a joke. What is going on? That was a joke. How is that a penalty? 
How in heaven's name is... <laughs> okay, whatever. I'll take it. I'm not going to... Uh, all right. Easy. Eric Mendez. 28. Two more. And he gets the 30. He's got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Two more goals and he gets to 30 for the fourth straight season. Big down year for Eric Mendez. But we played so many fewer matches. I mean, that's really what... Like, his goals per game is probably very similar. Or his, like... Like, goals per 90. Probably very similar. 12 fewer games. Xiao Zhang, I'm going to need you to just take over. Get the ball into Eric Mendez. He can do it, chat. Is there VAR in Liga Nas? I honestly don't know. Oh, where's Eric? Where's Eric? <sighs> Once we get into this situation, it's unlikely Eric is going to be able to score. Love the way we're playing, though. Kyoza, Joe. <gasps> Choked it and still scored. Come on, Eric. Come on. This is a beautiful goal, too. This goal is beautiful. Eric Brace Mendez, two inside 15 minutes. The all time great of Oriental Dragon has put himself in a position to do it again. And he's one of our main threats off these long throws. Oh, Kyoza, be nice if he's... <gasps> I don't think Kyoza has a goal all year. He was a January signing, but still. What an assist from the chassis. I mean, it's beautiful. Oh, Eric. Give it back to him. You better pass it back to him, Joe. That's fine. Let's just uh, a little ticky taka right through the middle again. A little dink, a little donk. This is good. This is good, Cicino. Let's go. It's because you didn't pass the ball to Eric. Obviously. We are really playing like. We are playing so well. It's all that pressure off your shoulders. Like the way, the the level that your team plays at after you've won a championship is always so high because that pressure is just released and they're just like, oh yeah. We're just going to go out, swagger about, acquire some dubs. In this case, just one match after having clinched the title. I don't think I could have timed that diatribe any better. Eric does take pens, yes. Like, could I have timed it any better going on that long? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Steven, thank you for the three months. Is that TTS to make it sound like your phone is vibrating? Wow. Thanks for the three months. That was good. That was good. It was very good. The show has just scored to take the lead, which means Tondela is currently going to the playoff. Eric? Do I smell an Eric Mendez? To add to his legend, a legend that doesn't need to be added to. Like, Eric Mendez doesn't need to do a thing to add to his legend status. Oh, Gioria. <laughs> He might get to 10. But, I mean, he needs to score another goal in this game, but it's a big season for Gioria is the focus of our set pieces for sure. It's a nice finish. Complacency talk. I want us to stay focused. I want us to keep scoring goals. Eric Mendez has some unfinished business. 
that missed penalty a few matches ago is really going to haunt him. Unless Mendez bags his third. Somebody get the ball to Eric Mendez, please. What a terrible throw for a guy with 15 throws. I was talking about this. We, we talk about this on the... Uh, I, actually, I don't... keeper was a defender tiago stop it with the flare man oh my god tiago noose with the indomitable sauce this isn't just the keeper it's a defender great pass by kioza he... <laughs> the defender's like going for the block and the noose just chips it behind him over the keeper Noosey. Noosey, my boy. You've, he's become a whole new animal, hasn't he? Uh-oh. Honestly, it all might be good to get Eric Mendez to 30 goals. defense he's gonna shoot no very surprised he didn't just have that one that's kind of his style that would have been something spectacular yeah Jim Jimerson we didn't take enough time to make fun of that guy's name we were distracted by the goal but fun at least the offense came to play today, you idiots. You fools. Santiago Zerbriggan, can you can you please take care of this for me, man? Zazinho's not playing. Like this is this is a good goal, but it's just sleepwalking. Like nobody is looking. Like what nobody That's <sighs> why so I gave the complacency talk, Chad. Clearly, it's just oozing of compla like complacency. Now. Last match in Sir Brigham's career. He's retiring at the end of the season. Please tell me that wasn't a shot. I don't know what would be worse. That was a shot or that was a pass for my best passing player. Oh, there you go. That's more like the type of pass we're supposed to get out of Kyoza. Drilled it into Michelle Lima. Good touch, too. <clears throat> Need to fix the defense for Liga Nos. We're not going to be playing this formation in Liga Nos, I don't think. This formation definitely leaves it exposed. We need to play with a defensive midfielder in Liga Nos. There's no way we are getting away without playing with defensive midfielder in Liga Nos with this team. Cannot survive using a double pivot. <sighs> Maybe more defensive roles and like a... Talking to box-to-box -box deep line playmaker and a lower line of engagement, it could work, but... That space in front of our back line, I'm not going to be able to get center backs good enough to uh, have us survive. Run, Eric. Play him through. I don't even care where he is. Play, play Eric Mendez in. Play him in. Mendez. He's in the 12 shirt. Has been for years. Oh, he's over here picking up the knock-on headers. What a, what a teammate.
kicking up, dude. He, he scored two goals in the first 15 minutes. He's back to his old brace ways. We'll just leave it. Uh-oh. The comeback is on. Michelle Lima just don't want you to pick up some sort of muscle injury in the last five minutes of a pointless game. No, it's not pointless. For you, it's pointless. For Eric Mendez, it is life. Play it off. Drop it off. Thank you. Run. Get forward. Oh, Joe. And he's going to score. <laughs> Round of applause, chap. The Chessie, it's a lovely touch and finish. A man that we wish we could sign, but does look like he's going to join us on loan at least for next season, which is tricky because I know he's going to get that Chinese cap. Like, I re I know that. I know he's going to get the Chinese Been a cap while soon. Since I could watch live. Vamos, Oriental Dragons. Vamos, Oriental Dragons. In Xiao United, I love it. Thank you so much. Kioza, oh nice. They ended up with seven goals. Totally thought that was the end of match highlight. Thank you for the three months, man. Congratulations on cooking your bacon. Making it to the TTS threshold. My man doing this, making key passes. A butcher, look, there's a reason Butcher's always in the starting lineup, right? He doesn't do the flashy things. But he does, he's got skill. He has a high floor. I didn't you do with a loan to buy clause? Would that work even though they're in an embargo? Like, would they be able to accept that indigo? It's worth trying, right? Good win. Good win, guys. Shame. 29 goals on the season for Eric Mendez to lead the team. One off his streak of 30, cons like, consecutive seasons with 30 goals. It's all right. Mendez getting to 29 goals is a sign that, you know, he's... he's Getting to levels where... I would let, who am I... Who are we kidding? He scored 29 goals in a, a season where we played like 41 matches as a team. The guy's still gross. And uh, good for Kios overall. Did uh, Sporting B end up going down? Yep. And all oh, Vittoria de Setubal, the team I got promoted with, went straight back down. Is there bringing bids farewell? That was... Okay. It's a 7-3 game, but the focus is on my backup left back's retirement. Oh, look at me. Played my last game ever. It's worth it. I mean, we're at the beginning of the transfer window, so let's withdraw the offer, loan offer. Um... Alright, let's sim a day. Try and figure out what just happened. This is it just a lot like I wasn't even able to switch back to the transfer stuff, so let's wait a day. Wait a day. Oh, Adrian Delphi wants to stay? That's unfortunate. We do get to do our match review. Fun. Yeah, I can't change the offer because they've already accepted the offer. We were waiting on him to decide on the contract. Wow. Regardless, excellent season, boys. A team assembled from all over. Gioria from Pinafiel, Antosh from Liefering, 
our purchase of Johan Madrid for $85,000. Caro from LAFC. Kansas Shaw was such a big part of the season. Butcher from Accrington Stanley. They, they did come from all over. Molinas from Boca Juniors. Galvan from River Plate. That's a championship. Fight bravely against relegation. Or, you know, win the entire league with the best goal difference, fewest losses, and most wins. Well, we didn't have the fewest losses. Joke's on you, Lajos. <laughs> 27 goals for Eric Mendez in the league. With a 109% average home attendance, so he did pretty well, I think. Knocked out in the quarterfinals by Belenenses in the cup. Kasha de Portugal, we got knocked out. Or Tasha de Liga. Tasha de Liga, Tasha de Portugal. I, I'm getting better at the pronunciation. Asa. Kansa Xiao's goal was the goal of the season that we scored like two streams ago. And Kansa Xiao's like <laughs> the, the number one selling jersey out of a whopping 194 jerseys sold. Can I get a... <laughs> Really? The Chessie didn't even make the team of the year. Butcher did. Noose and Mendez, obviously. Michelle made the team of the year over the Chessie. Well, I mean, I guess the only explanation is he wasn't here long enough because he was obviously better. Most goals by a player in a match was Dong DeHay in an early round cup match. Youngest player, Robin Wilpelier. Oh, yeah. Jean Pinto had 18 assists. That's insane. Highest average rating, most player of the match awards. Eric Mendez, Eric Mendez, Eric Mendez. Three time coach of the month, Zeeland Shannon. 18 assists. Who got inducted? Carl was the pick of the four players. Noose, Antosh, and Gioria also made the historical best 11. I like it. Club Vision sign Chinese players play attacking, play direct, play counter attacking, play entertaining. Good thing you don't have a lot of requirements. Sign players to sell for profit required. All right. Uh, I, I don't want to say play attacking. I would like that to be removed. Okay. I, I feel like I can do the rest of it. I just don't play attacking is a bit of a hard thing to guarantee going into a new division. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. That was a bit weird, huh? Do you still rate players? Yeah, every once in a blue moon. Yo, Ben's here. <gasps> ben. The podcast dropped a few hours ago. Hi, Dr. Benji. You're not only the best football... Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, this message goes out to um, you know, a very special someone, Dr. Benji. <clears throat> Hi, Dr. Benji. You are not only the best football manager creator on Earth, but you also possess... The most amount of tactical knowledge I've personally ever seen. I, Zeeland Shannon, continue to be in awe. No, that's not what it says. I, Zeeland Shannon, continue to be awe of your greatness on and off the field. Thank you for being in my life. Love, Zeeland. <laughs> <clears throat> Parfait, can I become one of the new staff members you're going to recruit for the new season? Yes, Parfait is the name. I'll DM you the pick on Discord. Sounds good, Parfait. Uh, yeah, you can pick anybody you want.
Lime, 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 lime. Welcome to the hammers for six months, dude. Take a sip of water to get the taste out of your mouth. I'm out of water. I'm going to go get water to get the taste out of my mouth. I've already recruited my whole staff parfait. So scouts, we got, there are two coaches, two new coaches that have not been claimed yet. A performance and recruitment analyst and a physio. I'm going to get the water right now, man. Hydrated enough? Oh god, I spilled. It's in my pants. It's in my pants. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm gonna say we're good enough to avoid relegation. They're gonna be like, I don't know, boss. I don't know if we're that good. Yep. I what did I say? What did I say? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell them. I think we're good enough to avoid relegation, even if it's through the playoff. And they're like, I don't know, boss. It's a little optimistic. Guess what, boys? We're going down. Sounds good. Okay, boss. See you next year. Okay, boys, see you next year. Squad is notable weaknesses. Everything. Literally everything. What are we good at? Eccentricity? Oh, f me, dude. Not one thing that has a superb option at right back in Johan Madrid. We're capable in the tackle. That's good. This is a very long list of things we suck at, though deep red suck at compared to the league that we're going into i am very excited july 1st we come back okay octavio lancia uh get it probably need another loan there boy boy oh ah coach of the year i'm not lying looks like a me it's a me a zealand Notable strengths. That's literally the top notable strength. Is like notable strengths has Eric Mendez. Wow, look at him. Parfait. Did you say who you wanted? Uh, I know you've set the pick. Who did you want? Uh, which do you want? One of the coaches or like what did you want? Has Zealand basically won back to back to back successive promotions? No, I've won back to back successive promotions as league champion. Not three, but just two. We finished fourth in league three two years ago. And then we won it, and then we won the second division after that. Hola, como estas? <laughs> For some reason, I wanted to say más o menos, but I feel like that doesn't make sense. We just had to move stadiums, dude, because Junkal de Sportes, the current ground that they were renting, does not meet Liganos requirements, so we have moved to a new stadium in Lisbon. An all-seater with 8,500 seats that can expand to 12,750. We just switched which stadium we were renting to move up to the next division. That is what Google Translate looks like, by the way, just right there. 
What does Pinto have to do to be a stain? Draw Pinto. We'll see. That man, if that man can stick at left back in the top league. I just started a career with Malaga. Any tips? Yeah, you're going to want to loan some of the top dudes from uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona. Some of the, well, not, not the top dudes, but you want to use those loans to try and balance out your team with quality. <clears throat> Ghost Gaming, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for the three months. Lime, lime, lime. I never properly th I congratulated you on your silver bacon, by the way. We got carried away with this all, all, all this business that was going on. But congratulations on that silver bacon. Neo Man United, thank you for the two months. Pandaru, congrats on the promotion yesterday. Thank you for the two months, man. Welcome back to the hammers to both of you. And Bunting, thank you for the 100 bits. Your face pack rocks, man. Why are you not using it here? I am. Well, I guess not on Russell Graham, but... I am using the face pack. We got a lot of regions with real faces in the game. Evan, thank you for the two months. There's a lot of people on the two months. Like, I'm back. I haven't cooked my bacon yet, but you know, I've been in the hammers for a little while now. I've been in the subscriber section of the Discord. I got a good feeling. Yeah, you know, I'm feeling okay. That's what, it that's what it's looking like. I've never been here before. What's going on? We just finished the season. We got promoted up to Liga Nas with a club that's semi-pro at the start of the game. And, uh... We are now trying to build a team that can go into Liga Nas. You know what we didn't do? And that somehow nobody reminded me to do. Really excited about uh the fact that I can't see any P like literally a single player on my team. You guys are freaking adorable, man. You're so cute. Uh transfer embargo done? No? No, it's not. Uh, what about loan and regular starter and and uh, future fee after matches played of like literally the exact same deal that we just offered before? What do you guys think of that? After five games, what do you guys think of that? And so we do actually negotiate a transfer, but through a loan so that we get around your embargo. Does that work for you? Why is such a big Chinese in? We have a Chinese owner. We have a Chinese owner of the club. Unfortunately, we don't get the money, but we do have to sign Chinese players. So it's like the worst of both worlds. It's great. Wow. Philip Eichner with the gifted sub and top-notch productions with the gifted sub Eigner's goes to Ragna welcome to the hammers and then top-notch productions goes to Esteban's welcome to the hammers how do I sell a player that does not want to sign for clubs who make bids for them but you have to just make him mad or offer a little bit of wage in order to get him to leave because he doesn't want to take it because their wages are lower I've sent the position as well in the discord DM all right parfait fine make it difficult man fine Fine, fine. Parfait, are you here, Felice? This I feel like you train are. This is bound for glory. Don't carry nothing but the righteous and the holy. Good God. Parfait. I'll do it. I'll do it, Parfait. Just because it's dumb hilarious, I will do it. What position did you say you wanted? Texas dealing with the storm is always top notch. Doesn't stop me from watching. Happy anniversary. Thank you, man. So you want to be the recruitment analyst? I'll show you guys in due time the picture that Parfait has sent. <laughs> Shaggy, I, I, I do hope you're okay though and all that Texas storm nonsense. Thank you for the prime. Spending a lot of Jeff Bezos money. What's up, Aniquil? Okay. So it wants to be... Hold on. The recruitment analyst, says Parfait. Jacob Dalton. Well, not actually renaming him Jacob Dalton, but... Of course, doing that. Now you guys will get to see the picture that was being used by Parfait as a staff member. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Okay. I'm sorry if you have like epilepsy or something.
Alright, boys. This is a very important scientific experiment here that's being undertaken. Very important scientific experiment going on. Please do not interrupt. Whatever you do, do not interrupt what is currently being undertaken. It's very important. I'm getting angry just looking at it. Go parfait! Looking good is the recruitment analyst. Looking good. All right. Yeah, we are discussing loan terms for Shoshong. Needs knowledge of Japan. here welcome to the internet loving that mercenary personality dude mad fan thank you for the three months congratulations on getting to the tts cooking your bacon and being a part of the hammer spending 15 dollars of jeff bezos money with those primes it's looking good shout out again to top notch productions and philip eigner for those gifted subs hope those people's days were made how was the last season we got uh ridiculous Come on, let me... That analyst will only suggest Japanese schoolgirls to you. <laughs> What's going on in the recruitment room? Yeah, we got the promotion. YouTube title for the stream, how to win the Champions League with free transfers, basically. I mean, that's kind of what we're trying to do. Sign Jack Byrne, I like Jack Byrne. Look, but thank you for the $5 donation, yeah. That recruitment analyst has a very specific target audience for the recruiting. We're gonna wait, by the way. Or do we not finish the scouting? This dude is one track mind as a ball winning midfielder. Keep scouting him, man. We, we we have to just keep scouting him. I'm not going to make that signing unless I'm absolutely sure. How much do they ask to... The, well, they can't sell him to Shara. They, they can't. They're in, an, they're in an embargo. Because they're waiting on a takeover, which means we're going to wait. We're going to wait as long as possible to loan Zhou Zhang in because... We would like to sign him, because if we don't sign him now, the next time we try and sign him, he's going to cost 30 million because he's going to be in the Chinese national team. This is it. This is like our only chance to sign him for any reasonable amount of money. And not only once, but two separate times we have agreed to a transfer fee. And yet, 
for first round, he didn't want to sign for a second round. They're in a transfer embargo until a takeover is completed. Which I'm assuming they want to complete before the end of the transfer window too. Budget is, it was significant improvement, but it's not like great. Um, let's let, we've been asked a couple times, like what Liga Nas is looking like. Let's take a look. Benfica won it, Porto second, Sporting a little disappointing. The relegated teams are Ferenc and Via Frakense. And then the other Ferenc is in the playoff. Oh, Visa nearly went down. So it's Tondela and Ferenc. That'd be a good sign of like where we're at as a team. How Tundela does in that. Youth candidates, they're not showing promise. What is wrong with you? They suck. Be honest with them. Part of my is also a big club, my FM19 run in the, tw in the year 2040s. Hmm. I smell a fourth place next season. <sighs> Me too. That or my mic smells a lot like fourth place. It's one half dozen to the other, really. Not quite sure. Tyreek Bodak. It's already on my short list, sir. Estoril Praia. This team did not get promoted, so he's a right back. Dang it, we have Johan Madrid already, which is good. Like, we're happy we have Johan Madrid, but... Azerbaijan's Abbas Hushainov. I actually have heard that guy. I know him. Ah, the Belgium scouting is coming through. Let's go. What about a trial? You down for a trial? Ah, Nando Peelnaker. We almost loan you in at one point and then like decide we weren't gonna do it. But we're gonna have the opportunity to trial him this time. Hopefully, his contract is allowed to run out. So, could do that. Think about a signing. This dude's already on our short list. Four end of contracts. So is this guy. Three Bruno shouldn't even be. Now you, you look like you could be something great. Bit of a checkered scouting report, that one. Which positions in the player front are we lacking? I mean, we're lacking general quality at the top level. We are lacking just a generic quality at the top level. Everywhere. Create, uh, Zhou Zhang is probably the only player across the front six that is worthy of being at this level. Johan Madrid is the other player that I have no question. Johan Madrid and Zhou Zhang are the two players I have absolutely no question about their ability to play in the top league. I know they're good enough. Straight up, straight down, I know they're good enough. Ah, oh, this dude would want so much money that we can't get... Oh, my... Abba Sasenov might be good. Big fan of Azerbaijan, personally. Who is it, really? Players like that. Hey, do you ever look around the World Leagues and see what happened to the... Oh, absolutely, yeah. I do look around the World Leagues. Is there going to be Red Dead today? No. No. I have class at 1230, which is why we stream at the time that we do today. Is Pinto, I'm not sure if Pinto can play at this level. I'm not sure. It's gonna be a really tough season. Staying clear of the playout will be a fine achievement. I, I, I think that we can expect more than that. I do think we could expect more than that. The way we play, the way generally we're set up to play, we should be able to uh, play hard, play on the counter. This is our entire youth intake leaving. Not an entire youth intake, but close. Ah, Porto. Lost the league, but won the cup. 
Good for them. And they really don't win a lot of trophies, so. Did you become champion? We did. What do you study? I am getting a master's in broadcast and digital journalism. He just the type of player that lacks the overall quality, but will still get 10 plus assists easily because he's that type of player. Yeah, it's true. He'll probably get exposed every once in a while, but man, he works hard. He's such a good passer. 18 assists is nuts. The dude had 18 assists last year in 34 matches. I'm pretty sure he played every single one at left back too, which is awesome. You're releasing all those Chinese wonder kids. Did you even see them in the youth intake? Like how bad they were? So bad. When does the flag rotation start? Should have started a long time ago. That's all on me. Aliu Jalal. I was like, how do you say that? Aliu Jalal? School takes away from your FM empire. What about that? You try selling a 15-year-old Chinese teenager who speaks no English Portuguese. They suck at the sport they're dedicating their lives to. Well, I mean, everybody that played the sport sucked at the sport they were dedicating their lives to, except for the people that ended up making it professional, so. They all need to get in you, Ben. Dong DeHay just broke six goal. Really? Really, in two matches, Dong DeHay scored six goals in the cup against two non-league teams and broke the cup record. What a player. He's not even at the club. But what a player, chat. What a player. How the in-game finances could be better. We're about to get, uh, hopefully, you know, pretty rock-solid off-season paycheck for promotion and everything. I, I honestly couldn't have described it any better. Like, Pinto is a boutique player. He's a he's a world beater in a couple of specific areas. He is. Absolutely. When do you finish the major? August. In August. Phone broken, got COVID, stuck in my house without power for a few days, but Zealand is streaming, so it's all good. Wow. Yeah, baby. You know what's going to be really fun? is I have to do an internship from July through August. <coughs> and the internship I usually do is like 12 hours a day. Oh, Hoppy with the hates big matches and everything else. Matthew, you're so much better in real life. I want to have you in real life. Those are going to be some fun streams. So tough for me to find good scouts for West Africa. French, French people, the French dudes. Are we loaded with the talent to win League in Oz yet? No, no, we are not. Uh, we did agree to, uh, oh, hold up. Oh, hold up. Okay. Okay. We did agree to a deal to sign Joe, but now uh, Lons is in a transfer embargo. So we are, we are really getting shafted a little bit here but we play on you know because in the end we're going to be the team that we're going to be the team that carries the flag not just for china but for portugal and the champions league signing that Chinese dude, man. We're signing him. That's why we're here. To make moves like that one. Yeah, we have to mostly be looking for freeze, but it's okay. 
They're attracted to dance moves. Most specifically, the nodders. joined excellence what are you talking about i don't understand i don't understand the premise of the question let's see if these trialists are any good chap now that we've we've refreshed the chakras all ah, right stimulus allegedly has significant potential well so does yaka broom but he doesn't get anywhere near it any like ever how gone shaw silva gone so he didn't improve when we loaned him out he just got worse diogo paulo He doesn't have a good pressure rating. Pains me. Stimulus, you're barely hanging on to a contract, man. You are barely hanging on to a contract. But to your credit, above everybody else on this list, you are hanging on to a contract. So. Ah, uh, we are about to lose a few uh, staff members. Nick the Bull, the Physio. Uh-oh, Nick. Uh-oh, Nick. Fidelef and Klaus Malsen. Uh, can I get one-year deals? Okay, yeah, one-year deal works. Uh, because we are not actually significantly better looking for scouts than these guys, and they're kind of already out there doing their jobs. Doofenshmirtz, the head of sports science. Honestly, don't know if we can get a better guy than that without looking. Nice, so we wouldn't be able to sign that guy. What about this guy? I think we would be able to sign a better head of sports science. Doofenshmirtz is in trouble. Dr. Doofenshmirtz is in trouble. Felipe Olive. Looks like a new head of sports. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's not looking good for two uh for two staff members. Hey, we're getting close to actually maybe no, we're on 49%. We're gonna finish scouting this guy eventually. So just watch all the streamer showdown VODs. Does it may ever make you question everything when Kev can win with a preset tactic and Pedro Rodriguez? It sure makes me. No, it doesn't. Uh, I mean, he's won two finals on penalties. He's clearly been the best person in the streamer showdowns, but winning five obviously needs a stroke of fortune. Uh, and Kev will make you believe that... Like, seriously, Kev will make you believe that he puts a lot less work into it than he does. He puts a lot of work into it. 
don't ever believe that Sir Kelvin's not studying and doing all of the stuff. And he has a very specific strategy for how to win. And that tactic might look preset. It's a pretty standard shape, but he does some things with it that are good. I mean, I play better against him than most people. Great teamwork and work rate setup. All right. I have a feeling none of you three will be first team players for me. Just a sneaking suspicion. Are you sure? Because Kev looks like he's winning in a preset. That's the the easy on. So he's able to build up. Inverted wing back off the off the left. Good athlete. Solid passing, tackling, marking, positioning. It's not outstanding. What what really carries this guy is the fact that he is an explosive athlete. He definitely stays on trial. But like Bellarini's gone. He just doesn't. There's nothing that Bellarini can offer that I don't already have in the team. Same with uh, Christian Nunez. All five, five of Christian Nunez. Dong De Hay, top goal scorer in the cup. What an award. Two appearances, six goals against non league teams. Player of the month. Second straight month, by the way, that Eric Mendez won player of the month. Five goals and an assist in three matches. I thought it was head coach of the year that we lost. I was like, dude, are you serious? Tundela's coach just beat me for head coach of the year. We were supposed to fight bravely against relegation and I won the league. If I don't get some silverware in my cabinet... I finally caught one of these live. Welcome, Cloud. Any Red Dead tomorrow? Should be able to get into some. Yeah, it depends on how much schoolwork I get done, if we're being completely honest. I remember a stream when Zealand said that he couldn't cut the level of League 2. Well, I just underestimated Eric Mendez's ability to be back-to-back -back player of the month in League 2. We all saw that coming. Well, now we know not to doubt him. Ah, uh, shoot. Aliu Jalal, Sandy Wandy, and uh, Shay Charles from top. From 12 and 6 minutes ago, we've got some player lookups. I know thems are worth a lot of points. We're going to make sure we get those in for you guys. I hope you're still here. All right. Uh, Aliu Jalal. part of the Gambian generation playing in Belgium and he just kind of made the move there so started at Lommel went to Genk got one appearance in two years but then went down to the second division and has been getting constant runouts over a 7.2 both seasons the Gambia produces legit players I just signed a forward with great athleticism, but bad technique. He's 21 years old. How should I train him? Focus on his athletic, try to improve his scoring. Yeah, try and improve his shooting. I would work on shooting. Aliu Jalal. From Banjul in the Gambia. That's third? Oh, he's in the third division. Uh, no, I, there are a surprisingly high number of good Gambian players for how small the country is. In a low league team, be going between leagues, would you focus on youth recruitment? Uh, youth recruitment, not youth training grounds. I would focus on youth recruitment. I'd focus on neither. I'd focus on training facilities ahead of those. Shea Charles. North Irish players on Blackburn now. 
Oh, he's on Manchester City at the start of the game. He went to Blackburn on a free. They loaned him to Cliftonville, where he made 25 appearances, goal assists, three player of the match. Wasn't a barnstorming season, though. And now he's back with Blackburn, who's in the Prem. They just got relegated. Okay. Fair enough. Fulham and West Brom going down. That looks familiar. She Brenner is second in goals. City with the dub. United did win it, though. Liverpool repeated, then United, then City now. Consecutively, United, Liverpool, Chelsea, Tottenham, Arsenal, Everton, Southampton. Leeds is hanging just fine. Norwich got re-promoted and stuck around. Leicester's slipping hard, and Sheffield is significantly better than they are in real life right now. Look up Harvey Elliott to forget that that happened. Hasn't moved. Got a loan to Blackburn. Probably part of what helped them get promoted to the Prem. Who knows? But he, he actually hasn't broken into the team yet, weirdly enough. He just hasn't broken into the team. He's been on the team for the last two years. He has one appearance apiece, laid a 5.9 down in limited time. It's just a strange existence that Harvey Elliott seems to be living in. Alone would probably do him some good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hey, what a ma- Oh, yo! This makes up for it, though. Holy smokes, dude. Did you see that? A national team call-up is a bad thing because he just got so much more expensive that we probably won't be able to sign him for years. Look at this, dude. Make it rain. Give me that big money. Yes. 13... Wait for it, thousand dollars per year over three years for a grand total of thirty-six nine thousand dollars. Oh yeah, huge tag, and then the injection of cash. Sponsorship money up, broadcast revenues up, corporate hospitality up, competition prize money obviously up. Yeah, buddy. And the board just laid down like two different cash injections of 325,000 and 500,000, which is nice. And we also just, ca you know, we're now over a million in the budget. Are we okay now with those cash injections and everything? Like, yeah, financial status, okay. Projections long-term are balanced, which is good. I like that. Okay. We have stabilized the club budget thanks to Shen Sheng investing his money to make sure that we can hang comfortably at this level. I was going off the 13. Obviously, if you add in like these 0.75, it's going to be higher than that. I just did the maths off the 13, chat. My mama said I have a brain. She said that I don't know how to use it, but that's all part that's all part of life. She said that's all part of life. She said forest. Life is like a box of chocolates. You just don't know what you're going to get. A 16 year old in my scouting report? Yeah, I have this guy on the list already. Yeah. 
have that guy on our list already. We have that guy on our short list already. It's like you don't even read the short list that I put together for you. Do you even care? Are you even trying for this anymore? Does this relationship even matter to you? God. Are you fluent in Chinese in the game? Um. Unless I gain it over time just from coaching a team with a bunch of Chinese players in it at various times, then no. And the answer is no. Hey, what's up, Yulian? How you doing? Yulian, Mr. Vision, Mr. Technique, okay? Pretty unathletic, that's all right. You know, you're a weird type of player, but you're good. Somebody said you're a boutique player. I would agree with that. You're a boutique player. Diego Castellanos. Okay. Contract expires in a month. Can I just try to sign you and then they're going to like automatically extend you and that's just what we're going to do? We'll do this. We'll do this little dance. You know, we go back and forth and we just, okay, he wants to be a star player. How about a regular starter? And then in two years or like next year, you become an important player. How does that sound? Wow. Minimum fee release clause of 3.6. Relegation release clause. Dude, I'll put that at uh, 750,000. How's that look? I don't want to put it at zero because it is a slight possibility. Uh, what is your current wage, Diego? 33, you say? Okay. Then again, I'm negotiating under the assumption that there is no chance I can complete this signing. Because they usually in Colombia will have like an automatic extension in place. And so they'll just pop that right now. That's why they haven't re-signed him until now because they have an automatic extension in place. Which is great, you know, isn't a tease at all. Can't offer this guy a trial for some reason. Just random people you can't offer trials to. It's a shame because this guy looks pretty good. Oh, awesome. Um, didn't play for Atlanta United last year. Yet somehow he, he's... He's athletic, he's a good dribbler, good first touch, his flare's okay, his off the ball is good, his passing vision's middling. I definitely don't think I can just throw that kind of money at this guy though. Okay. Ah, so the agent leaked our conversation to the media. <sighs> That's how I feel about that. Welcome to the club, boys. Come on in. The water's fine. Let the trials begin. Who wants to play for a top flight team? How do I sell guys who don't want to leave the club? You have to make them angry. You have to make them want to leave. Tundela did win, actually. Tundela just beat uh, the other team in the playoff. Well, Mr. Peruvian Junior Ponce, I like your look. Well, it would be nice if you were a capable center, uh, center back. Fortuna Sitard guy. Well, he's a little slow. A little slow. He just... Mm, just ever so slightly. You did see correctly. That is a Belarusian. Bahad Bayo. Ugandan national team striker. Well. We're doing what we can.
Can I offer these guys trials? Both of them. I can't offer either of them trials. This is the guy from Melbourne Victory. I've been trying to figure out how good he is up until like this moment. I can't... It's such a bizarre little problem to have. I wish I could play Football Manager. Why can't you? you one of the older versions? I did do the Ali Ujalo player lookup, yes. He's banging goals in, in the third division of Belgium. And that's all he can do for now. Hope that Xiu Zhang doesn't actually make an appearance, but of course Xiu Zhang's one of the best Chinese players on the planet, so of course he'll make an appearance. Let's wait for our reputation to reset and we'll try and unsettle that other good Chinese winger who's in the uh, third tier of Portugal. We might be able to unsettle him now that we're a top tier team. I'm the coach at Sporting B. We just played Oriental Dragons and Drew. Hell yeah, man. Hi, I'm new here. If you're an American, why are you called Zealand? I don't know. My parents got creative. How is Matthew Hoppy? Or he's not good enough. Um, well, the main issue with Hoppy is he's actually pretty athletic, even in this database, which is before he like broke through at Schalke. But he hates big matches, like Dark Red hates big matches, which particularly on Strikers is painful. Is it possible to get affiliates in the Xbox version? I've never played the Xbox version. I've been trying to get an Xbox and a PlayStation forever, and I can't get either. But... If it's not in, like, the Ask Your Board section, then it is impossible. I mean, that's the only season, hopefully, ever that Oriental Dragon plays in the second division, so. Pinto wins the award for most assists in the league with 18 assists and 31 appearances. What an outrageous player. Uh, yay, we passed. Our long-serving head of sports science, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Is, uh, is headed out today. Dr. Doofenshmirtz is on the way out. Chat. Goodbye, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Thank you for your service. Felipe Olive. You're now part of the team. Welcome as the new head of sports science. For our time in the top division. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Little family. Bye, Doc. It's a tough business sometimes. It's a tough business sometimes. It's not natural. Dane Scarlet look up. Got it. I'm on it. What's your longest ever save in FM? F uh 2048, I think. I mean 2048, 2049, and a 2017 journeyman before I was like well, I was Zealand. It's always been my name. But like, you know, Zealand. Congrats, Queen Justo. Is the important attribute? No, no attribute is fixed, but uh, pressure does not change a lot. All right, Dane. Dane Scarlet still rocking out the Tottenham youth team. Does not have an appearance, has received no loans. Least exciting career in the history of the sport. I bask in the glow of an elite online gaming community. As you should. What an outrageously boring career this man has had. He's never played a senior game. 
And he looks plenty good. I mean, he's absolutely, he's outrageously athletic. You stay at the same club? No, I, it was a journeyman. So I managed a ton of different clubs. I, I went all the way from like having no badges, no playing experience to being the coach at Barcelona, which is a fun, it's a fun way to do it. Marcos Leon. Not Leonardo, Marcos Leonardo. He hasn't moved yet? Really? This dude's great. He's one of those players that gets snapped up by Europe pretty quickly. Usually. Regular player at Santos, bagging goals, high rating, young, just turned 21. That's surprising. Gonna be a bit of a later guy going over the pond this time then, I think. Goodbye, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. That's a hard one. It's the lone guy's coming back. Lancia, Mamadou Bamba. Because I got Mo Bamba. Coming back. Coming back to the team. You know. Cow is leaving. Dong to Hey, did you improve at all? I mean, no. Like, he's just... He's just a League 2 level player, and I... Probably gonna end up getting rid of him, selling him, releasing him. And he's just gonna go play in League 2. He's gonna have a good career, because the guy can definitely score goals at the levels where he's dominant. So can everybody, but... You know what I mean. Like, the level that he can play at quality-wise, he, he bags goals. Yeah, see, everybody's got their Marcos Leonardo story, because the dude goes to Europe, and he's great. Two staff members signed out. Fidelef and Klaus Mausen are back. Giorgio Stamoulis signs a new contract. 21-year-old Greek striker who we know has potential, but just doesn't seem to determine not to reach it. See Orlando Magic or the Oriental Dragon? Hey, I'm just saying, starts with the same letter. Conspiracy theories abound. <laughs> Shame about Dong Dehei, he sold him to the Chinese leagues on your save. It's probably the most monetarily righteous one, but he he's like, speaks fluent English. I think he even has English nationality, so like he can play in the league system all the time. Did you start an employee in your journeyman? Yes. In, in FM17, yeah, I did. I did done do that the appropriate way to say it, by the way. One point four million to activate his claws. I love Brazilian wingers because they're not fast. They're just like 12 at everything. And you're like, well, are you good? Like, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Scouts are on that grind in South America, though. Well, um, let's get a scouting report. I'm not going to rush this, but... Oh. Yeah, we're starting to find some real bosses in here. Actually, look at how good he was. Probably important. I'll tell you right now, don't want him. One of the better players in the first team contracts about to expire. Guess what? He's already on my short list, so. Appreciate you pointing that out to me. It means a lot. That one dude, though. A couple of these Colombian guys. Hey, did we? They never, like, extended this. Like, we're still just negotiating for a guy who is a legit player. They didn't get the automatic extension. They're, like, debating it. Do they not have the automatic? I mean, I can look. I just assume they did. 
I would see scouting required. We don't know. Which, you know, is great because in real life, we totally wouldn't just ask if he had it. We can't do that. Wheeling and dealing. That would be nuts. We actually were able to sign him. That kid, had, that he's got a chance to be like the first guy that we sign where it's like, oh, we could win the Champions League with him on the team. If he actually has a lot of potential left, like he'd be one of those guys. Zealand, I'm fat as hell. Do a setup. <laughs> we get us because we're boosting ourselves to the top. <sighs> Nodders. Nodders must always live. Honestly, it's nothing wrong. Say I'm fat as hell. You're just like, okay. Atletico Nacional is one of the best teams in Colombia. If you're actually that good, I'm obviously all over this definition. Now, Cole McKinnon was kind of hoping you'd be good. I mean, you have potential. Deep lying playmaker that can't finish. That's kind of par for the course. We'll, we'll wait and see. If a player's unhappy if I block this transfer, will they get over it? Obviously, it depends on their hidden attributes, how long it'll take them to get over it. But you have them under contract for like two to three years. You should be okay, yeah. Should the move materialize? How well will Sergio Ramos perform at Man United? Very well. He always has something to prove. How did you get into FM being American? It's a chemical accident. Um, some, you know, I mean, you know the old story. Some English dudes were experimenting in a lab, right? And then one of them tripped and accidentally knocked like the soccer vial, right? Into my, into the pot. And so it tipped over and there was like pff, way too much, you know? Um, otherwise it's just, it's, it's impossible for me to have just, like found the game and gotten into it you know it was it was a chemical accident in a laboratory in england right and then uh i was i was born in the wrong country um that's the only explanation i and uh it all makes complete sense don't ask don't ask you know it's it was traumatizing even thank me let's keep scouting the guy it doesn't cost us anything and he's like free to snap up for money that we can't afford if he's worth it and he is he does a job now i my friend just introduced me to the game How, it, like that's and that was that. I was like, oh, it's FIFA career mode, but better. And I was like, awesome. Sounds great. The game's not marketed in the United States, though. Like, Football Manager isn't marketed to a U.S. market at all. It just exists on Steam and you find it or you don't, right? Lukam Hakim. Just want to see if he's still in Europe. Is he playing for Kertrijk in Belgium in real life? He's playing there. Really? What makes you choose yearly salary? It's, just, it's actually the preset in the American game. Uh, even though it's not marketed to the US, they do like obviously have like the American preset for the US dollar and all that sort of stuff. Um, and it's the, the version that's sold to you in the United States comes as yearly because all of our contracts domestically for all of our sports are per year. You're paid this per year. How'd you get into the sport? I mean, everybody in the US plays it. You just kind of grow out of it at a certain point. And I got back into it. Uh, it was a DS game. It was a, it was when I realized that the World Cup was a thing. And that was the 2006 World Cup. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh, hold. Uh, wait. <laughs> I guess they didn't have it. We just signed him. I make deals. Okay. I make the best deals. Hello, Diego. How are you this evening? 
You're looking quite uh, high work rate, high technique, 17 year old with good athleticism. You're looking very all of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That just happened. Oh, let's go, Ayub. You just became so much better with that knock the ball past opponent. Tanzanian national team will never be the same. Why is this relevant to me? Some one of these guys is on my short list somewhere. I think it's the keeper, actually. Oh yeah. That's a dude. Let's be honest, he looks at least 25. He only gets one face for his whole life, okay? Wait, is that true? Oh, wait, that's the picture that he sent for the staff member. He was answering comments. Carol Louis Dreyfus confirmed as majority shareholder and chairman Chronicle Live. I have no idea what that is. BBC News. All right, I'll trust that one. What? He's. Ooh. He's 23? He's younger than me, dude. Son of former Marseille owner. Uh, that's huge for Sunderland, though. I mean, that's like Stuart Donald didn't have the cash. Like, Kirill Louis Dreyfus apparently has the cold, hard cash, right, to just invest as much as possible within the rules to make the team, you know, to get Sunderland back to the Prem. And let's be honest, whether you hate them or not, Sunderland belongs in the Prem. I am uh, how, how do you think people in Sunderland are going to adapt to a French owner? That's going to be hilarious. I'm very proud to become a custodian of this esteemed institution. I recognize. <laughs> like, that, that's not going to go over well in Sunderland, is it? Like, what are you bloody French doing here? When did he get here? I don't remember signing up for the likes of you. Bunch of burly... Kind of short, but very burly dudes in a pub, like, making a wall, like... You better keep your hands off our club. <laughs> a scene from Peaky Blinders trying to keep the guy from... I would be excited. I hope they're excited. Who knows? Oh, God. I dropped my pen. Yeah, he's walking down the street with his scarf on or something. Oi! Blood! I mean, he's 23. Like, the dude doesn't look like the owner of your club, you know? That's fun. That's fun for Sunderland. Back in business. Castellanos signing confirmed. Outrageous that that happened. How are you rated so highly? Is my question, Abbas Hushenov. Is it all that? Lo those loads of international matches you play for Azerbaijan 28? Whoa there, Speed Racer. I am not paying the money that you want. I can see it in your eyes. I know how much money you want. I also see it in the salary demand section, and I'm not paying it. Good news is, uh, if we can ever appease the Chinese player requirement, I am going to be able to loan the best players uh, around the world that are available for loan. Like, Premier League teams will loan to a Liga Nas team. 
Your accent was about 300 miles away. See, I'm, here's the issue. I have an English accent, right? And it is very good. But it's so posh that I was trying to go to Sunderland and I was like, I need to add an edge to it. And for some reason, we just went like Wah! right to Ireland. And I was like, okay, guess we're going that way. Cool. Really excited. Are we in the off season? Yes, we're building the team. Humble. I mean, like I... Hashtag humble. Hashtag thank you, Antosh. Yeah, we looked at the Chinese teams about a month ago. To see who we could sign. I Can I just set him to be released? Like, we're not keeping him. I, I just let his loan run out and somebody else sign him. He was the guy that we signed. We ended up finding better players after him, and that was it. That was the whole story. Ah, Morin dies actually on the transfer list. I scored. Great. That will do wonders for his value, won't it? Calzone, thank you so much for the tier one, by the way. Welcome to the welcome to the hammers. Dude, did I ever look up Lukman Hakim? I don't think I did. I'm really sorry if I did. I, I definitely didn't. Look, Akeem. He is still at Core Strike. Just started getting into the team. He just started getting into the team. After a few years of nose to the grindstone development as a Malaysian superstar, he is now getting action for Core Strike. So, congratulations to him. He's making good money, too. Uh, oh my god, dude, stop! Stop it! This is not helping your destiny, Zhu. It's not helping! Stop! Holy sh dude, he scored four goals in one game! I know, but it, it was Pakistan, obviously, but he didn't have a cap for his Nash. He's at four goals. Oh, it sucks. Well, I want to be excited for you. We would be excited for you if we were if we had been allowed to sign you already. Of course, we weren't because your club is in administ not in administration, but on a transfer embargo. Of all things, to block our... I still can't believe that happened. Still in the process of a takeover. Bruchero stays. It's good enough. God, it's four, four goals. Why is the old no real opinion of me? He's been on my team for five months on a loan. His value is not going to tell us what we would actually have to pay to get him. What we would actually have to pay to get him is going to tell us what we'll actually have to pay to get him. But we won't know that until the club is actually purchased. Somebody's going to buy loans, which happened the day we were signing show. Which is just insane. Do you have any tips for signing free agent players and using them as an investment flip? I've never done that super successfully. Because free agent players, people can sign for free, right? Like people let them get to the end of contract. What I have a lot more luck with is signing Eastern European, African, South American players and then selling them for a ton more money later. Like if you're in the Premier League, you sign a dude for 2 million, he's immediately worth 20. Like if he has high potential. 
You get the value of being a player at a Premier League club, right? That's where there's a lot more money in flipping. Got into the Champions League of my save. Got an easy draw to get to the knockout, but got Liverpool. Any tips? I mean, yeah, don't lose. But, like, that's a dumb tip. Smart tip would be, hey, you're going to want to line up defensively. Um... Make sure you get people in front, uh, especially defensively in the first match, right? Because in the first match, you can get yourself to the second match. You can make them more nervous and bol bolster your confidence. I'm assuming your team's going to be going into it not confident. And you want to bolster your confidence. Jerseys, I got you. Antoine Semenyo. Is it Bristol City, which is where he's always been? He just did some loans at Sunderland. Uh, the Newport County and Bath ones happened in real life, and I think Sunderland might have happened in real life too. But then all of a sudden he comes back from a loan where he barely plays and has been a fairly regular player for Bristol City every season since, including a massive season last year where he over averaged over a seven. Uh, and Bristol City uh, finished 15th. Well, no, they finished eighth that year. So they're right on the edge of the playoff. Now, where where are they? Ninth. Yikes. Well, they're, they're giving it their all. They're close. Yeah, no, we'll just let you go. Oh, they're going to hire the guy from Laws. That's exhilarating. Hey, somebody want to buy this club? I'll buy it. I volunteer. Sell it to me so I can buy the player. A Bristol lad thrown and through. How good's the PC version? Play on Xbox, think you get a PC to play FM. Is it worth it? I mean, a PC is worth it. Yeah, I couldn't live without a PC for obvious reasons. But yeah, the, look, the game's just more in depth. If you like Football Manager and you're loving Football Manager, wouldn't you just want to watch or like just experience more layers to that? Bye, club, please. Yes. Excuse me, I, um, excuse me. Hey, hey, excuse me. Uh, I would, yeah, you, okay. I would like to, I, I would like to buy your club. Okay, and I don't want it. I just want the player. Okay, and I'll, I'll like, I'll buy the club, I'll sell it to somebody else. I don't want it. I'm not going to run it. We're not going to do anything. It's not going to be bad. I do, I do how, I, I do want the player. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad we settled that. We, we got it. We're good. Okay, hydrate. Got it. What do you think? SI can add to FM at this point. I mean, does the match look or feel completely realistic to you? The answer is yes. You're lying to yourself. Ah, the the league update. Liga Nos remains the sixth best league. We are going to endeavor to change that. That's what we're kind of really excited for today, isn't it? I love that athleticism on that guy. W were we ever going to get past 60%, 66% on this guy? I guess we know everything about him, though. Yaya Meleji. Super hard work and good positioning. star player in the Ligat winner, which Maccabi Haifa is winning it, then it's the top league.
I'm not doing it. The decision making, concentration, composure, triple threat is uh, not good enough for me. I'm not doing it. If we need this type of player in the future, I'll put him on my end of contract thing for a year, but I'm not doing it. This guy would be a good back. He, this guy can play both fullback positions. He'd be a great swing fullback to put on the bench. But we'll see if we have the spare money to make that happen or not. I don't know if we will right now. But I'm not doing it. It was close. I was very close to doing that. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of offense to him. But when you look at his mentals, they're enticing. His decision making is likely under 10. His concentration, his composure, not that good ever. Uh, or either, so... Can't pass, can't dribble, he's worthless. That's not true. He's definitely got to use. We want to start the Church of Chessy. I know. Well, I mean, Demo Krastev is great. I know him, and there is absolutely zero, zero percent chance of me signing him. Dude's probably worth more than my club at this point. Brash is trash. Yeah, yeah, he's trash. He's very sim he's a similar player to Brash. Where he's not skilled, but he does the he does a job really well. What percentage chance do you give yourself to stay up? Oh, uh I have been relegated one time in my life in this game. We're staying up. Especially when you look at how good we were compared to the league we just played. A league that produced a player that, or a team that finished third that was able to beat the third worst team in the top league. That shows me that the level, I mean, obviously Porto and uh, Benfica are going to beat us like a drum. But that's not who I'm trying to beat to stay up. I'm trying to beat the team that Tundela just beat and I just beat Tundela twice last season. got really good agility it's gonna be a really exciting kind of end of contract day huh got a lot of guys that i think could contribute to the team we might actually end up with too many guys to bring them in immediately we have to like divvy it up a little bit oh ooh. Ooh, this dude's not athletic that means he's got some serious sauce in other parts of his game santiago gomez Mine just, it seriously might just be a better Eric Mendez. I didn't want to say it, but I think it's true. That figures. It's like, is he a central midfielder with 11 to 13 finishing? That's insane. Scouts are putting in work. Scouts are putting in work. I appreciate it. Cat and Bacorals is also, he's doing well as the general manager. Northern Ireland, really? Tim Ronning. I'll do that now. I've been forgetting when I try and leave it till after or whatever I'm doing. Tim Ronning. On loan from Juventus. So they bought him from Elfsborg, Juventus. He then played two matches and then the next season played one match and they've loaned him with a fee to Fiorentina where he's played 21 matches regular player at Fiorentina so he just had he they, they Juventus bought him as a backup and now he's starting at Fiorentina it's a pretty solid life wish I could sign him up here looking at Tomas Durso I'm interested in center backs. I think we can really improve our team at center back. This Gioria is a one-trick pony. He's an excellent tackler, and he's got nothing else going for him. Juan Pablo Diaz. Didn't we already... It's a different guy. Also don't like him. 
Uh, bad passing, good vision. That's just a recipe for me being confused as to if he's good or not. And the answer is that he's frustratingly inconsistent because he can see the right play, but he can't always make the right play. Why is they why are they loading this dude out? How can they not use this guy? He's a bad passer and he's bad off the ball. I answered my own question, but he's good. Loans. If and when we can explore that loan list again. Previously scouted Igor Luzhik. No. Carlos. No. 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 Luca Vandergeg. What a man. So they say he's a low rating because the contract's going to be fat. Adnan Uger. This is going to be one heck of a day when all of this turns over and we have an opportunity to, lo or to trial all of these guys. A lot of decisions will be made in 14 days, chat. Hopefully some of these guys are good too. You trying uh, Portuguese players now? Not particularly. I mean, I'd like to have them. Philip Alexander Kohlberg Stordahl. Oh wow, we got three. Emin Barum. Ew. Get away. Okay. So you could be okay. Oh my God. Nobody knows this. I'm not in love. Why well, am? This guy is someone whose name I will never forget. I didn't know he played midfield now. It's so uh it's so different. Eight years ago, Mark O'Hara played center back for Kilmarnock. He was a uh, a hot prospect at center back, and it'd have been a long time ago now. It would have been 11 years ago. So when he, you know, when he was 16, 17 years old, and I signed him at Celtic, my first ever football manager save. I signed this guy from Kilmarnock, and. About eight years into the save, in the 112th minute of the Champions League final against PSG, Mark O'Hara scored a goal to win me my first ever Champions League in Football Manager. This is that Mark O'Hara now, living his life, being decent, whatever. But. That's who Mark O'Hara is to me. We're the boss of Liga knows. And just randomly, he has become somebody that we bring in on trial in a save seven years in the future. This is the man that won me my first Champions League in the 112th minute off a corner. Mark O'Hara. It's like his fourth goal of the whole season. The only Scott in the starting lineup of that team. Of a Celtic winning team. He's come to save us again. We're the boss of Liga knows. So close, Pultz. I don't know if you can get him to say Nas. Maybe like a couple of S's. Who knows? But Pultz, I love the chant. Thank you for the three months, man. Let's look up the players. That's uh, sorry. That was just crazy to me. But I like I didn't realize that that was that's Marco Hara. Huh? That's the guy. Imin Baram, still at Galatasaray, and uh, he's broken into the first team. 
So two seasons now of being a regular first team player at Galatasaray. Looks like he might be set for a long career over there. Making really good money. Let's get player teams interested. Oh, Leicester City. Look at it, Emin Bayram. Leicester City trying to just collect the best Turkish center backs in the world, I guess. And shout out to this guy for having a good start to his career. Mustafa. Mohamed, the new Galatasaray striker. Well, I think he's moved. Now this is a different Mustafa Mohamed. Mustafa Mohamed. I mean, this dude just still plays for Zemelec. He's playing in Egypt, getting paid plenty of money doing his thing i i don't think this is the guy you're thinking of though or maybe he just signed no this has got to be the guy what you're saying is he's the new striker for galatasaray like a january signing it's gotta be yeah that's what you're saying he just signed so yeah you just wanted to look at him in the game well in the game he's still at zamalek playing well 29 caps 10 goals the egyptian national team you have four years in the future Looking like a good player. Looking like a tidy player. And then Philip Alexander Kohlberg Stordahl. Surprised he hasn't moved, but I'm also not because you can make really good money playing in that league. There we go. And this guy has not made a move. He's still at Lielstrom. He's not broken into the national team. He did get eight U21 appearances, but I guess that's not what he's going for. Entering his fourth season. They got relegated. No, they didn't. They got promoted. Okay. Oops. The Obos League is the second league. I knew that. So he started their first season. They got promoted. He's now into his third year as a top flight regular starter in Norway at center back. I'm sure he has designs on going somewhere, but nobody's actually made any offers for him. And we have Jamie Shackleton. Hadn't gone anywhere, man. He's still just, he's getting a run out. Regular starter every year for Leeds. Even played all 38 games last year. Jamie freaking Shackleton. That's what it's about. The homegrown, the chiseled jawline, the athleticism. 171 appearances at 24 years of age. Dude's living a really charmed life. Dave has a party. Somebody just re re refund Alberto because Dave has a party. The He is the Wolves scout for football manager. Ansgar Nalf has moved from Dortmund to Luzern for 105,000 and become a regular player in the top flight of Switzerland. After, I don't think he ever made an appearance for Dortmund. No, but he, he played plenty for Dortmund too, but, you know, a lot of people could do that. So Ansgar Nalf has moved to Luzern, 105,000, playing in Switzerland. Moved in the January window and made an appearance in basically every game for a team that's going to finish seventh uh, in the league. But won the cup, so he's going to European play. Good for him. Good for Ensgar. Filip Stavanovic. Yeah, we just get on a roll with these sometimes. He actually is on Galatasaray. That is a really good signing for Galatasaray. Well, pff, it's a Man City signed him. And then loaned him to Partizan, which I think they did in real life, right? Loaned him to Partizan and then loaned him to Brighton, where he made 22 appearances in the Premier League, and then have loaned him to Trabzonspor and loaned him to Galatasaray the last two seasons, which is weird considering he was a regular Premier League player for a little while. But it looks like Man City can't exactly decide what the hell they want to do with him at the moment. Probably going to want to sell him at some point because at this point he should be in and around the first team like he should have broken through or something, but they just haven't. Somebody fancy a kale shake? Shh, they'll hear you. They'll hear you. They have eyes everywhere. 
Mohammed Guindo. It's the next redemption from Glenderman. Oh, I've never heard that name before. Stefanovich, that one's interesting. Perpetual Lone Farm. I mean, he's good enough to be in the rotation at Man City. Like, he gets good enough to do that. You guys know which camera Zeeland uses in game? Uh, in the game, I use sideline all the way down. My camera there, you right there, Sony A5100, which somebody just hit the command, I think. Yeah, but I won't like I won't look up your player unless you redeem the channel points thing. And the reason the channel points thing is there is because if I didn't have that, we would literally just be looking up players for four hours, four times a week. That's all we would do. It's fun to do in like spurts, but the channel points make sure that like you really want to look the player up for it to happen, <laughs> you know? He's 21 in your save, he can still get better. I know. Well, they're gonna force my decision then. Nope, not going in on it. We've got two good left backs. That 17 year old is very good from Colombia. Then, of course, Joe Pinto. And then we have Sheik Traore and Johan Madrid at right back. So I don't think I should waste my limited capital on picking up a fifth fullback that I trust as a first team player. I should not do that. I also have Tong Shun, who's, of course, recovering from an incredibly long-term injury, but whenever he is actually back, he counts in that as well. Which is even more reason to not... not do anything. All right, we'll get on the... Uh, we'll look these players up in a sec. Is that really what he wants? That's not what his estimated salary would be. Yeah, it is what he wants. Okay, I can't. If it was that little amount of money, I would have, I would have swung for it. He already resigned. Yeah, you know, Kaj. So we take him off the list. Unse, Rubio, you, Ba. Shkurin, Fahad Bayo. A lot of these guys are not going to be good. I see somebody redeemed Kvaric Gelia. Freaking love Kvaric Gelia. All right, let's 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 do these. Uh, Mohamed Guindo. Hey, it's a bit of a weird move. So he, he went to Arsenal on a free. Arsenal grabbed them on a free from Anderlecht. This is this is weird. He broke into the Anderlecht first team, and then it must have been some sort of contract dispute. So Anderlecht with the stonks lets him go for free to Arsenal, who loan him out to Spain's lower side La Liga team, Ibar, where he plays 35 matches, drops six goals, one assist at 20 years old. God, Anderlecht, you choked it. You, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my. This lad is uh, quite the mover. Like the mover and shaker, huh? Well, that guy can run. Quite the player. Yo! Shaw with the five gifted subs. The Cinco Day gift, though. Pants the skies, waving Phantom Blue Runner Howard watching. Thank you so much for existing and congratulations on being a part of the Hammers. Shaw's got 87 gifted. Shaw's building up like some Hammer Legend status here. Second this month in gifted subs as well. 
The five more gifted from Ja. I don't know, Nicholas Rubio. You are right on that line of me being like, eh. Chris Allen, Tyrick Bodak. Alexander Ba. You are certainly a good player, but the answer is we keep you around because you can play both sides. Sure, and he's either footed. Isn't that fun? Sorry, man. Just looking for better. We're just looking for better there. Same for you, Fahad Bio. We're just looking for better. All right, Bright. Turton! Yo, Turton with the gift and sub to Wolfie Cadolfi. Welcome to the Hammers, dude. Welcome to the Hammers. Where is Bright? So pacey. Such an interesting player. Bright area MB. So he, uh, he finally broke into the team of Bayern 2 a couple years ago, then he's getting loans to Freiburg. Uh, and he was a regular starter in the Bundesliga last season for Freiburg, loaned out from Bayern Munich. So Bayern Munich hasn't given up on the incredibly fast, but bit of a difficult buy, Bright R.E.M.B. Oh, wrong. I changed the wrong thing to an L. Full Callsburg. Faroe Islands! Dude, he's made his move. Four years of the future. This dude's like 16, 17 playing for Scala in the Faroe Islands. Free move to Bronby, and he's a regular player in the Danish Superliga. For one of the best teams in Denmark, in Bronby. Wow, huge. Faroese wonder kid, Paul Kalsberg. Making his name known, Paul Kalsberg. 18 appearances, two goals. Wow, I love it. That's exactly what you want to see from my boy, Paul Kalsberg. Dennis Dressel. Looks like he's been purchased by Darmstadt. So he breaks, breaks into the team with 1860, Munchen, and then gets... It's, you know, bought by Darmstadt and is a very regular player in the second Bundesliga with Darmstadt. So nothing explosive. Hasn't made the jump up to the actual Bundesliga. Darmstadt over the past three seasons have been painfully close. I mean, 8th, 6th, 10th, 11th. I mean, not as painfully close as for some reason that ladder made it look because Darmstadt's climbed a lot recently, but they are... It's a good team. He's, he's having himself a good career. Making plenty of money, that's for sure. Diogo... Nascimento on it. I This guy's a former bona fide wonder kid, and it looks like he is into the first team. We're going to have to play against this guy this year, which is a fun thought. Made 19 appearances for Benfica. Also played well on Benfica B, so we might have played him last year, to be honest, because we were playing Benfica B. This is why I hate those B teams, because all of a sudden you happen to play them one day and Diogo Nascimento just shows up playing on the team. But it looks like this year was the first year that Nascimento's actually broken into the team. He did get a loan to Royal Charleroi. They made him, he's more athletic than he used to be. Not that that was hard to beat, but he is more athletic than he used to be. Kvisha Kvardskelia, who is always at Man City. God, I... love him this dude is he's so agile and creative and technical and he's a really good dribbler and he's not at manchester he's at leicester if i said manchester city i misspoke for some reason my brain thinks i said manchester city um purchase for 16.75 million from ruben kazan regular player in the premier league for georgia kvisha kvarchkelia after shredding in uh the russian league for a few years what a baller
Chester, yo. I, I don't even want to read this. I'm sure it's going to be great. I see you never replied to my tweet. It seems you're not as confident in your little national soccer ball team as you claimed to be. Happy seven. Just don't respond to trolls, Chester. Thank you so much for the prime in the seven months. Zeeland, you look nice. Thank you. It's all that, you know, 60 frames a second at HD sort of, sort of look that we've got going. Yes, we did get promoted, Martin. And Trindad. What's up? How you doing? Anel Akhmedozic. Well, he starts at Malmo. This dude's had a career in this save. Starts at Malmo, regular player. Boom, bought in January by Sampdoria. Or, no, in the summer by Sampdoria. Becomes a regular player in Serie A. Then Arsenal buys him for 32 million. He becomes a regular player in the Premier League. Okay. Akhmedozic with a strong climb from the Swedish league up to the Premier League. 6'5", 185, and he's athletic. That is intoxicating. I can see why they wanted to go sign him. Sign him for half a year. Now we have Jaffet Tunganga, who is scuttled on to Bournemouth. Looks like Tottenham didn't want anything to do with him. He makes seven appearances for Tottenham the whole time. And then they sell him to Bournemouth for 12.75 and he becomes an instantly regular starter in a Premier League team. Live your life, man. Is he ever going to consider the switch? He does have DR Congo in there and even though he's a regular starter in the Prem, I don't think he's ever going to get to English national team level. DR Congo picks up a late blooming center back on the national team scale. Newcastle want to transfer. I mean, where are they? They can't be in like a much better position. They're in the championship. He's a regular starter in the prim. What are you what are you thinking? You're gonna get him. Why? Angry Anabot. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime and welcome to the Hammers, man. Thank you for joining an elite online gaming community. Make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord too. Omer Neron. Half Danish, half Israeli goalkeeper that is not in the database anymore, unfortunately. So if we could refund Pulse for that one, Hugo Felix. The brother of Shaw Felix, younger brother. Well, he's on loan. They've loaned him out to Torrens uh, two consecutive seasons, and he got them promoted from the fourth division to the third division. And they are... 20th so it wasn't exactly a fun season but he's managed to keep them there wasn't nearly as fun he did get to play for benfica b a little bit but third division looks more hugo felix speed right now honestly we'll throw a scout on him seems like the type of guy that they might release at some point or make available for cheap ori 93 <laughs> Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Thank you for spending $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Yeah, apparently we're a 1.2k viewer Andy. Now, that's that's our that's our new category, chat. Barack Inse. Yeah, this guy's a, a long-tenured wonder kid, and he's got a boatload of appearances. Bashak Shahir bought him from Alti Nordu, and he's just laid down some regular seasons with Bashak Shahir. Regular starter from the moment he was purchased. Anybody interested in him? No. It's kind of surprising. He is a great playmaker. He's always been a great playmaker. And then we have Eugenio Pizzuto, a Mexican midfielder I have never heard of. So much so that his face in the game was assigned a regen face. All right. From Pachuca to Lille on a free. Lille sends him to Lille too. He makes two appearances and then loans him to Australia to MacArthur FC in the Hyundai A League where he makes 26 appearances. Then they loan him to Armenia Bielfield where he makes 30 appearances in the Bundesliga in 2021-22. They got relegated that year, so shout out to him. 
Uh, and then they have sold him to Club America, and now he's back in Mexico being a regular starter, which is probably where he wanted to be. But what a journey. And he was a Bundesliga player for a year, and now at 22, he's, like, returned to his homeland. It's just a weird... What a weird life. What a weird life and times, my guy, here. Just strange. He looks like your brother. I look like everybody. When you start a video game and you go to the create a player thing, the person you get at the beginning before you adjust anything is me. Can't you see me just like bouncing back and forth being like, like maybe one of those NBA games where they're like, dancing or something. Mexico, no, Mexico has, yeah, well, more money in the Bundesliga. Like, if he's a regular starter in the Bundesliga at 20 years old. If he's a reg, yeah, Martin's sad to see him playing in Mexico, I know. Well, that's, here's what I'm saying. Weird career decision. If you're a regular starter in the Bundesliga at 20 years old, you can definitely stick in a lot of places in Europe. The one on FM is black. Fair enough. Williamson already found his loan. We, we might loan that guy in at some point. It's a great player. God, what a classic advance forward. Like, literally textbook advance forward. dude doing playing in the second Austrian league uh, he's not like the big signing we're gonna go make a lot of tiny signings, I think, is the way to go, but it's a weird player, weird Portuguese player that's drifted into some random league, like, strange. How many Mexicans have been in Europe? I can think of two or three in the last 20 years, or more than that. Uh, Hector Herrera, Andres Guardado, obviously Chicharito, um, Ochoa, Memo Ochoa, the keeper, been in Europe for a long time. Uh, Vela went into Europe, but he kind of flamed out. Irving Lozano. Yeah. Irving Lozano is, like, the main kind of creative force winger guy. Now. And who's the, uh, there's another one. It's a winger for, like, Real Betis. Diego Lainez. I didn't even need to look at chat for that. It's Diego Lainez. So, yeah, plenty. As you can see. I, I, I couldn't tell you where Rafa Marquez played. He's like 50 years old. Rafa Marquez really played for Barcelona. Algar, Zeeland, I'm going to go. All right, Ghost of Fury. Much love. Anori, oh, Ro Raul Jimenez, obviously. Well, he was he was almost too obvious. Hope his brain's okay. Yo, well, thank you so much for the hundred bits, man. long Monaco to Barcelona for seven years he went back to Hellas Verona what the what is the point of that Devonish I'm really curious about here 
Cole McKinnon is a bit of a pot shot. But Devonish, I'm curious about. The season draws near. <gasps> the season draws near. Liga Nos, here we come. Why'd you redeem Jossie's artist in the player lookup? I see Mohamed Simikon still. We're going to get that in a sec. Devonish. Okay, this guy could... Oh, McKinnon signed a deal with a Scottish League One team. Cool. Who would want to keep trial... Really? Of course his potential's outrageous. And he's actually a decent player. And then he signs for a Scottish League One team on a two-year contract instead of staying on trial with a Liga Nos team. Where's your ambition, man? That is... The four and a half star potential's always, like, the confirm. The dude's got great potential compared to, like, the level of your team. And we'll develop aggressively, and so I will keep him on a, uh, a short list because he might be one of those little hidden gems I can snap up. Devonish wants to come back, though. God, that's stupid. Oh, he didn't know. Devonish should be a solid player. Nodders. Woo. It's got a good jumping reach. Surprising for his size, but surprisingly unathletic for his size as well. But his strength is good. Obviously, every mental except composure is like he, he doesn't have any holes. His tackling isn't exceptional because because that low composure in his tackling is just not like generically is just not that good. How much do you want? No, I'm not doing that right now. I'm not doing that right now. We are waiting until we get like that wave of people to come through. Kamal Soa. A Leicester City dropout. Wouldn't that be interesting if we picked him up? Carlos Perea. Well, he could be good. He's so young, we don't know. All these end of contract people. What are we going to do with you? Previously scouted Alvaro Contreras. Our knowledge of the Colombian League is peak choice. Eh. It's 19. Makes him less interesting to me. Just stab the Holy Spirit out of my hand. I, if I drop this pen one more time. It's great. It's helping me think, though. Christian Rodriguez hates big matches. Oh, get off my... Get, get off my porch. Get off the dock here. More into contract guys, but like the South American into contract guys where it's end of the year. Eyes and all, and we continue to find these guys. Up until the day that they are released, we continue to find these guys. Now, I need old fullbacks. Contacts within the game, the most mysterious way to find somebody, and then you have the outside shot to be a hugely important player for us. One more thing that we have to do. Uh, we are going to have to get rid of a physio. Just sad. It's one of ours. It's one of the, uh, one of, one of our chat staff members is going to be, is going to be dropped off here.
if I if I can stick this negotiation, which I can't. Chat staff member survives for the moment. Long live Nick the Bull, who is about to be replaced as a physio. Nick the Bull, a 68-year-old man from Portugal, has survived. Because that negotiation was just past the fringe. So Nick the Bull's gonna get another season. Alright, let's do these lookups then. Uh Mohammed Simikan. Oh, he's at Leeds. Would you look at that? A $5 million purchase from Strasbourg Alsace. Where he was never a starter in more than half the matches in a season, but Leeds have scooped him up anyways for $5 million. And Simicon is living that Premier League lifestyle as a backup, I'm assuming. Well, I mean, he was on the team all season and didn't play. They bought him for $5 million and he didn't play once. Which you could have seen from the fact that he was never like a super reliable regular starter for a team that's not a particularly good one in League One Uber Eats. Sang. Yikes. No fun. No fun at all. What? What the f? Really? This dude lives the most charmed life ever. Now he moved. He's making over a million a year on a, after a free move from Columbus to League All. He's a red dude. What? He's a regular starter. He scored two goals. Oh my god, how are they not relegated? Whoa. They finished eighth with one of their strikers scoring two goals. His agent deserves an, a medal. He's making over a million a year after being released on a free by a club in the MLS. 80s, and he's probably still getting called. Because he plays for Lorient. Finally, he's not getting called. But he had 86 national team appearances for the U.S. national team at the end of this journey. And a regular starter for a couple of years at Lorient and Ligon after a, a, a long MLS career with Galaxy and crew. <sighs> the American Chupo Moting. I couldn't think of a better... I actually could not, if I tried, think of a better description than that. Dimitri Oberlin. He's got a cap for Switzerland. He doesn't have a lot of appearances for anybody. This is going to be hard to unpack. Uh, so from Basel. He just moves teams for no particular reason, right? And then... Oh, he gets loaned. So he gets loaned to Real Valladolid. Uh, loan fee only plays three games after playing six games with Basel. They loaned him out so many times, it's like hard to keep track even in real life. And then Elmeria, he free transfer, free transfer to Scion, plays two years, uh, and in the second year gets sold to Deportivo La Coruña, where he barely plays as well. So this poor guy has been kicked all over Kingdom Come, never been a regular player anywhere. And yet he seems pretty good. He seems like not bad. He's making a ton of money. He's playing in the second division in Spain. Yeah, I don't know. What a weird career. That, this would annoy me. Like, you just want to play. Just be a regular player on some team. You keep signing these contracts and you're like just out kicking your coverage. Weird lad. Tim Wax for you. Why is Howdy Guys being checked by Automod? Wow. Anti-American sentiment. <gasps> Unbelievable. Hello. Hi. Name's Zealand. But that is it for today. I have class I have to get to in 21 minutes. Will he make it? We're not sure. But let's raid somebody. Let's go make somebody's day. Next stream is tomorrow. Normal, uh, 12. 
like 12 or 1. I can't remember what the schedule says, but it's whenever I get out of class, I just walk home and start the stream. So uh, you've got that to look forward to. Tomorrow, we will be getting to the illustrious June 31st. We will be turning the squad over. We will be turning the squad over. We will basically be putting the team together tomorrow. Bad Xiao news today, though. Bad Xiao news. Very bad. Now, okay. <clears throat> Pay attention. There's this guy, right? There's this guy. His name is uh, Mr. Diz. Okay. He uh, he interviewed me for a podcast. He's like very nervous about asking me, but very persistent, you know. Set it up. Able to do it. He did it past midnight his time because that's when I like got home from Tampa at the time. It was a pleasurable podcast. Now, Mr. Diz does not do everything right in terms of content creation, but the dude has some serious determination to do it. And he is, yeah, catch him spam would be solid. He is streaming right now. He is streaming right now. So we're gonna rate him because this is just like, I spent a lot of time with this guy on the podcast that, that he did. And if you haven't watched it, you can check it out on his YouTube channel, which I'm sure will be linked uh, on his Twitch stream. And um, <clears throat> he's just a good guy. But I like people that I, I know are just you know, just kind of good people. Real nose to the grindstone type of guy, too. So if you watch him, you enjoy, you know, let's let's go in. Let's spam some. Uh, <laughs> We, we, we did span we did span cat jams last time let's do the whatever this i i don't know what this zealand thing is but let's just do it hey bro i'm from bangladesh i want to know when you start to play so london time 5 p.m london time 12 p.m new york time between that and then 6 p.m london time and 1 p.m new york time i should be getting on uh, so if you're, you're in Bangladesh, much love to Bangladesh. My, the little brother that I had in the fraternity, I had one little in my fraternity and he's from Bangladesh actually, which is a very random fact. All right, guys, have fun with Mr. Diz. Uh, spam the Zealand is the light for the blind or whatever. He's a good dude. He's kind of new to content creation and, and that sort of stuff, but you know, he's got the, he's got the drive. I don't know. You talk to a guy for a long time, you know him. I'll see you guys tomorrow. For the follow, my friend. We have etiquette in here when you drop me a follow. You 100% get the full shebang, my friend. Sleepy Raptor. Zealand. Oh, dang. Zealand. Thank you so much for the ride, my friend. Wow. Zealand, you legend, you. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you.